Good morning. It's great to be here at Bug Elementary and also to be with fourth graders in Miss Tudor's class. I also want to say hi to all the fourth graders at Bug Elementary and the fourth graders at Powell Elementary and the fourth graders at A.B. Combs Elementary School. My name is Linda O'Day Young and I'm the Youth Theater and Education Director at Raleigh Little Theater. In March, you all know, Raleigh Little Theater will present The Hundred Dresses. It's a play written by Mary Hall Surface, and it's based on the Newbery Honor book by Eleanor Estes. It is a story about Wanda Petronsky, who is a Polish immigrant, 10 years old, and she desperately wants to fit in at school. But she's poor, and she speaks with an accent, and so she's ignored until one day she says, I have a hundred dresses all lined up in my closet. Well, she wears the same dress every day. So a bitter teasing game begins with Wanda as the target. Now we at Raleigh Little Theater thought that this was a really important play to do because it has a valuable lesson about the pain caused by teasing and bullying. It hurts, doesn't it? Has anybody here ever been teased or bullied? Yeah, it hurts. So we wanted to do more than just the show. So back in September, Raleigh Little Theater joined forces with wonderful teachers from Bug Elementary, Powell Elementary, and A.B. Combs Elementary to form the 100 Dresses Project involving 274th grade students. The goal of the project was to get all of you excited about reading the story and then to encourage you to express your feelings about the story in music, art, dance, drama, and creative writing in classes in your schools. Through a generous donation by our friends over at Whole Foods Market Raleigh, we were able to hand out 60 copies of the 100 dresses to the three schools. And then back in October, their adult actors from the Raleigh Little Theater community came out and performed a staged reading of the play for you guys. So when it came time for Raleigh Little Theater to create the design or the graphics or illustrations for our poster to advertise the show, it made sense to turn to you guys, creative fourth graders at these schools. So we asked you to submit artwork which expressed your feelings about the story and which at the same time might inspire somebody to come and see our show. We had a lot of nice work submitted and to our poster design contest. And finalists, 10 finalists I think, for, uh, from the contest are going to be in an exhibit at Whole Foods through the month of March. So you can come by and see them. But today I'm here to announce the winner of our show poster design contest. She's from Bug Creative Arts and Science Magnet Elementary School, and her name is Jillian Tyler. Jillian, can you come up? Here she is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you stand over here, because I have a special uh, guest here who I've invited to come and present you with a certificate. Her name is Maddie Kunkel, and she is a student at Raleigh Little Theater, and she is going to be playing the role of Wanda Petronsky. Maddie, you wanna come on up? Thank you, Jillian. The 100 Dresses Show Poster Contest Award is presented to Jillian Tyler of Bug Creative Arts and Science Magnet Elementary School for providing illustrations which reflect a unique artistic interpretation of The 100 Dresses, a Newbery Honor book by Eleanor Estates. These illustrations will be used in Raleigh Little Theater's poster for its production of The 100 Dresses. Thank you. Here's your certificate. Thank you. 
Now I'd like to present you with the poster. Yeah, I'll hold this. And you can show her. For Raleigh Little Theater's production of The Hundred Dresses. I love this poster. It reminds me of what Wanda says. I have a hundred dresses all lined up in my closet. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. And now I would like to introduce Elizabeth Beal from Whole Foods Market, Raleigh. Hi guys, my name is Elizabeth. I'm from Whole Foods Market in Raleigh, which is way down on Wade Avenue. And Julie and I just want to say congratulations. Thank you so much for your wonderful artwork. I am presenting you with this certificate for a pizza party for your whole classroom. So you guys better be extra nice to Jillian, because your artwork won you a pizza party. So we're gonna have the pizza party in March, and here's a certificate for you. And we're gonna have the art show at Whole Foods Market in Raleigh. I want you guys to all come down and see it. The opening night is gonna be the first Friday in March, which is March 5th. So come on down that night and see all the great artwork and then enjoy your pizza party. And I'm just so glad that we can be a part of the community and all the creative, fun things you guys are doing. So congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. And you all are coming to see the show uh, in March.